The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the JWST, was developed over the course of 26 years, and it was finally unveiled on July 11, 2022, by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA as we know it today. The telescope was hailed as the most powerful space telescope in history, named after NASA's second director, and it underwent a 26-year development process. Welcome to the Space Point, where we shall set off on a trip to investigate the mysteries of the universe from the beginning of time. Please join us today as we view this intriguing film. 700 galaxies have been uncovered by James Webb. Beyond the edge of the Big Bang, the first achievement announced by the James Webb Telescope is the image capturing light from the Smok 0723 Galaxy Cluster. This galaxy cluster is located at a distance OF5, 12 billion light years, and lies in the southern part of the constellation Pisces. It is a patch of sky visible from the southern hemisphere of Earth and is often visited by the Hubble and other telescopes in search of deep cosmic history. The initial data is of immense significance as it reveals the structure of the universe when it was just 600 million years old. Measured from the starting point of the Big Bang, it provides insights into the shape of black holes and the existence of extraterrestrial life. The latest information has somewhat fulfilled humanity's aspirations as the images of 700 galaxies at the edge of the universe are sent back from the James Webb Telescope. The evidence captured by infrared light has caused the scientific community to pause and reassess the models of the early universe. Can humanity overcome the shock of this knowledge? and construct a new cosmological model based upon these new unimaginable discoveries? That remains an unanswered question. However, we all know that, today, the ancient hidden part of the universe will reveal itself, and our understanding of the cosmos will forever be changed," said Kenneth Simbach head of the Space Telescope Science Institute Testius CI. He explains that the information revealed by the JWST is exactly what humanity has been looking for, for a very long time. Among the 700 galaxies within the scope of the JWST scans, researchers have found six candidates that could completely refute the hypothesis of cosmic formation the genesis of the endless cosmic night with its stars. According to a recent study published on February 22nd in the journal Nature, the newly discovered galaxies are similar in size to our own Milky Way galaxy and are about 13.5 billion years old. They contain hundreds of billions of stars with masses comparable to that of the sun just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which means that they are comparable in age to our own galaxy. These six galaxies are not the oldest ones seen by JWST. Last year, scientists discovered four galaxies dating back to roughly 350 million years after the Big Bang but those galaxies were much smaller in size. Joel Leisure, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University and co-author of the research paper, stated that these findings make the entire picture of galaxy formation as we understand it uncertain. Dr. Emma Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham who was not involved in the most recent research, stated that additional observations of other discoveries are required before ejecting the current models of our universe. Currently, the research team plans to collect spectroscopic images from the data returned by JWST because this approach can provide more precise age information 
and allow for better estimates of the masses of the six new galaxies discovered. If the Milky Way produces one to two new stars annually, some of the 700 objects observed by JWST may generate hundreds of new stars annually and span throughout the history of the universe. According to Erica Nelson, an astronomer at the University of Colorado Boulder, if these findings can be confirmed, it would indeed represent a significant step forward in our understanding of the universe and may require redefining existing theories. The new infrared images obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST will provide further clarification on this matter. According to current theories describing the processes following the Big Bang, the first stars began to form approximately 1 to 300 million years after the explosion. These early stars were believed to be very large and bright, responsible for the ionization process of the universe at that time. It's important to note that during this period, elements heavier than lithium, which were produced during the nucleosynthesis stage of the Big Bang, were not yet present. The first stars were able to produce heavier elements through stellar nucleosynthesis. As a result, the majority of the primordial light in the universe may have been ultraviolet radiation emitted by these very hot stars. The surface temperature of these stars would have ionized hydrogen and neutralized helium in their surroundings marking the era of reionization. Scientists from the California Institute of Technology and the Sloan Digital Sky Survey have found evidence suggesting the final stage of the reionization process. They observed strong absorption of ultraviolet radiation in the spectra of quasars at around 900 million years after the Big Bang. This suggests that the remaining neutral hydrogen was ionized at that time. If the early stars were indeed very massive, their lifetimes would have been relatively short, lasting only a few million years. Some of these stars would have exploded in supernovae, releasing the metals they had produced. Stars with masses between 100 and 250 times that of the Sun are predicted to be completely destroyed in powerful explosions. Most of the first stars fall within this mass range. The presence of metals, which are more efficient than hydrogen in cooling star-forming clouds, would have been able the collapse of these clouds into stars. Even a small amount of metal production could have a significant impact on star formation. However, the contradiction arises from the fact that if everything happened according to our previous understanding, the reionization process would have occurred more than one billion years after the Big Bang, followed by the formation of more stable stars it would have taken billions of years for galaxies to begin to appear. Yet, we have observed mature galaxies with ages as young as five to 700 million years old. This raises questions about the theory of dark energy, the rate of cosmic expansion, and the presence of other mysterious factors related to matter and energy that we may still need to discover. Regarding the evidence of organic molecules in the early universe, the discovery of complex organic molecules in the galaxy Speedy Fower 18 to 47 located 12.3 billion light years away is indeed fascinating. These are the oldest known organic molecules identified by humans. The spectroscopic data indicates that these organic molecules belong to complex forms, primarily aromatic polycyclic hydrocarbons PAHs. On Earth, PAHs are found in forest fire smoke and car exhaust fumes. In space, 
PAHs may play a significant role in star formation by influencing the timing and location of the process. They could regulate the temperature of gas clouds in stellar nurseries. However, it's important to note that this is still speculative and further research is required to fully understand the extent of PAH's impact on star formation in space. The existence of these organic molecules in the early universe, just over one billion years after the Big Bang, presents a fascinating discovery. It poses a challenge to current cosmological models as they have not previously addressed the presence of such molecules in the early stages of the universe. Further studies and observations, including those from the JWST, will help shed more light on these intriguing findings and contribute to our evolving understanding of the universe's formation and development. Pause, or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are indeed considered fundamental building blocks for life on Earth. They are complex organic molecules composed of carbon and hydrogen atoms arranged in multiple aromatic rings. PAHs have been found in various environments, including interstellar space, and are known to play a role in the formation of stars and planets. The discovery of complex organic molecules like PAHs in the early galaxies of the primordial universe is significant because it provides insight into the chemical processes occurring in those early cosmic structures. It suggests that the mechanisms involved in star and galaxy formation in the early universe are similar to those observed in present-day galaxies, including our own Milky Way. The discovery of the galaxy Speedy Fowler 18 to 47 in 2020 using the South Pole Telescope allowed scientists to determine its mass through a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when light from a distant object is bent around a massive object due to its gravitational force. This effect can distort and magnify the light providing valuable information about the distant object. The uneven distribution of pack cloud densities within galaxies remains a puzzle for scientists. While it is observed that organic molecules are associated with the formation of stars everywhere, the reasons for the uneven distribution are not fully understood. Further research is needed to unravel the complexities of this phenomenon. Galaxy formation is an area of active research, and there are two main theories regarding how galaxies form. The top-down process suggests that galaxies form from larger structures that fragment into smaller galaxies over time. The second model proposes that giant elliptical galaxies are primarily formed through the merging of smaller galaxies. Both processes are thought to occur billions of years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which is set to launch in late 2021, is expected to provide new insights into the earliest galaxies and potentially challenge our current models of galaxy formation. If the evidence from the JWST supports the existence of early galaxies, it could require evaluation of our understanding of galaxy formation and the role of dark matter. Dark energy, a mysterious force believed to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is connected to galaxy formation through its influence on the overall dynamics of cosmic structures. While the exact relationship between dark energy and galaxy formation is still not fully understood. It is a subject of ongoing research. The exploration of dark matter and dark energy remains a major focus of cosmic research, as these components make up a significant portion of the universe's composition. 
Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the vastness of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has just made a groundbreaking discovery, capturing a glimpse of 700 galaxies at the very edge of our known universe. It's a testament to the boundless wonders that await us in space. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our cosmos, we invite you to join us on this exhilarating voyage of discovery. If you're fascinated by space, astronomy, and the secrets of the universe, make sure to subscribe to The Space Point. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with the latest news, captivating imagery, and mind-boggling scientific breakthroughs. Whether it's the birth of stars, the exploration of distant exoplanets, or the search for extraterrestrial life, we've got you covered. The universe is a vast, ever-expanding canvas of awe-inspiring phenomena. And by subscribing, you'll be part of a community of space enthusiasts, scientists, and dreamers who share a passion for exploring the great unknown. So, don't miss out on any of the extraordinary stories waiting to be told. Hit that subscribe button now and become a member of the Space Point family. Together, we'll journey to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, uncovering its secrets and marveling at its beauty. Thank you for watching. And remember, the adventure is just beginning.